Well, I'm going to be doing a top 10 favorite skate park list. This is not the top 10 skate parks in the world. Every skate park is subjective. So these are my top 10 favorite personal ones that I have skated. Obviously, I'm not going to list parks I haven't been to. There's a lot of YouTubers out there that just do videos on this is what I Googled. Here's the top five or biggest skate parks. Like, seriously, anybody can do that. This is from my own personal experience. So I'm going to do my top 10. There's actually way more, so I may throw in a few honorable mentions. But, you know, I'd say I'm pretty credible because I've been to over 100 skate parks in my life. Probably close to 200, but obviously I haven't counted. You guys have seen tons of uploads. Ridden in places from South Bank in London, England, down to just so many places in New Zealand, to Canada, to Mexico, from Florida to Washington State, you know, you name it. So, here's my top 10. Let me know if your skate park somehow made it on the list and if the phase has stopped by. So, this is no particular order because, you know, whatever you want to skate just kind of depends on your mood. So, let's start off with the list and say Grant Park in Chicago. So, I only got to spend about mm, probably 20 minutes there. It was pretty crowded. The sun was setting. It was really short on time. I was there for a uh, stock options trading conference because that's where the options exchange is. It's in Chicago, blah, blah, blah. You guys probably don't care about that. Anyways, that's how I fund most of my traveling trips and snowboarding, whatever. So, went down there and it's Chaz Ortiz's local park, but it's like so spread out. And even when it's crowded, like, you know, you can kind of swerve around other people, but they got pretty much everything that you want if you're a street skater. So, you know, you got manual pads, you got boxes, stairs, the ground's pretty smooth, amazing view of the skyline. So, I mean, I was using a wide angle lens when I tried to show the skyline, but just the whole like scale and depth of the skyscrapers like, right there in your face while you're in Chicago and skating this huge street plaza. It's really fun. I'd love to go back someday. Um, and, you know, maybe throw down like a mini video part or something once I get more back into shape. So, there's Grant Park in Chicago. There's a lot of other good skate parks around the Chicago area. Um, I mean, there's so many. Schaumburg's pretty good. That's a little throw out. You know, that's a pretty good skate park. I would have put it on my top list, but I don't know. Just didn't. So, and then we're going to go with number two. Again, this isn't my top two. Just a bullet point list. They're all pretty much even. Just depends on my skate mood. Craig Ranch, Las Vegas. Now, I know there's a lot of other parks in Vegas. I've been to a few. Some are pretty good, but Craig Ranch, like, it was a city. It's literally a city that's a skate park. Like, it took forever just to skate around and film everything. I mean, you got, like, just different sections. It feels like multiple skate parks combined into one. It was pretty crowded and really hot when I went and I was slightly injured, so I didn't really get to skate it. I just kind of rolled around and I did like a few tricks, but the flow was so nice. Little warning though, you got slick wheels. It's kind of slippery with the ground there, especially when you kind of go around corners pretty fast, but if you're used to skating slick ground or you got decent wheels or you just have that type of uh, maneuverability, then I really suggest going to Craig Ranch in Vegas. Um, it's more on the outskirts, but you know, if you got a car or a rental car, or you know a homie, definitely check out Craig Ranch. Super fun, super epic, and I mean, that's all I gotta say about that. And then, this is more of like an old home park uh, that I used to love, but um, I would say Brook Run Skate Park in Dunwoody, Georgia. It's pretty much the Atlanta suburbs. And the thing that's so great about this park is it's got everything that I like to skate. So you got banks, you got a huge double set, which I don't really like to skate, but you know, if you're into big, big stairs, which are kind of hard to find at some skate parks these days, everybody just wants to put in like little, little drops that you can power ollie, not power ollie, but acid drop down. So huge, big huck and double set there with a giant handrail. And then there's a little four stair over to the side. So it's a double set and then to the side, you got like a perfect four stair. I'm talking like 50 plus feet of run up to hit it and then just infinite runaway. Ground is super smooth, no cracks in the way. Just 
float and go down and they're not like the weird like long skate park like four stairs and it's not like a crappy drop off like it's literally like totally symmetrical like something you would find in the streets so perfect four stair for learning tricks down there then there's a cool really cool manual pad that's also a box on the side it's a c ledge on one side and then a box that's like totally straight so you can grind that Coping's a little bit rounded off, so if you don't lock in properly, it can screw you up pretty bad. And then, you know, you can manual pad, go straight across, or you can manual and then you can go around the sealage. So it's a box and a sealage combined. So perfect for me. Grinds, manual pads, little stairs, some big stuff. If you just want to throw an ollie, there's a uh, cool euro slash step up that's really steep, so it kind of just throws you up. Um, little hips and spines not spines but little hips um and then there's like a really steep hip so if you just want to kind of float there's that um they have a huge bowl over in the side they got like two bowls they got like a pool bowl and then they got like a flow bowl so if you're into that that's there sometimes they even have a snack bar that's running which is pretty interesting so obviously they got indoor bathrooms and it's totally free so uh pretty great park personally i like it um there's obviously a lot of other good ones in Atlanta, and you guys probably saw my old videos where I would skate at the Street League Park in Kennesaw, Georgia a lot. And that would be on there, but like, I don't really skate most of the stuff there. Um, there's a few good bowls, but I don't do the big bowl. And I mean, they just got a giant three block for hooking yourself down, which is good there. And then just some other little launch ramps. But like I said, I could do more personally at the one in Dunwoody at Brook Run. So there's that. Next on the list, I would have to say is Colorado Springs Skate Park. Now again, Denver Skate Park, it's pretty great, but it's got more transition. And again, I mean, the ground's great there at the Denver one, but the Colorado Springs Skate Park, it's another one of those skate parks that's like a city. So, I mean, if you're in divert, they have a full half pipe, 100% full half pipe and then a mini ramp right next to it, back to back. So you're covered there if you're a vert skater, which is surprising because none of these other parks have that. But in terms of street, you got wall rides, you got some stairs, you got some bowls in the back, you got a lot of banks, um, obviously ledges, boxes. It's pretty great. The only problem is it tends to be really crowded. Like the Colorado Springs Skate Park is usually more crowded than the Denver one. But if you get there, it's pretty great. Again, smooth ground. Oh yeah, and amazing views. You're like right there, Colorado Springs is a really pretty town. So huge mountain like right behind you and then infinite skate park that you could figure out whatever you want to do with. It. So Colorado Springs makes it on the list and Colorado actually has a lot of great skate parks. So I'm not gonna go through all of them, but personally like Colorado Springs, if it's not crowded, you can do whatever. Next on the list, again, no specific order, is Boise, Idaho. So, Idaho also has great skate parks too. From Coeur d'Alene down to uh, Middleton to like a bunch of other places. But the one that's downtown, again, I wouldn't say it's on the scale of being like a city size skate park where like there's a bunch of stuff, but it's under a bridge, so it's shaded, which is nice. The ground is super smooth. A little bit slick in some parts but again it's one of those parks that if you're a street skater kind of has everything from like manual pads to boxes to i think there's a bowl to the side again i don't really skate transition so i can't vouch for that but it's really nice and then one of my favorite things besides some of the boxes and manual pads and like again side note the flow at this park is amazing so like you can just Go around, do whatever. It does get a little bit crowded, but there's even like a little, um, I guess you would say fun box, pyramid, whatever. Uh, and so they have bigger ones and then they have a small one where the gap is like, I don't remember exactly, but like the way that you can hit speed and how the ramps are angled, you can literally acid drop over. I've never been to any other park where you can casually just air over a freaking pyramid and not even have to pop an ollie so i mean obviously when you do pop an ollie it feels nice but like you can just kind of hit it and like literally flow in the air 
over a pyramid. Great, perfect ground. Um, the air is really dry there. It felt drier than like Arizona when I was skating there for some reason. So like my lungs and throat were like really freezing up. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on with my health then. But uh, hopefully I'll be back after all this quarantine stuff's over. But anyways, great skate park, Boise, Idaho. Really nice. All of Idaho has really good skate parks. Then, this is gonna be kind of a hard one to pronounce. Uh, excuse me for my Spanish, but Parque Ecologico Puebla, or the Pueblo Ecological Skate Park. Um, Puebla, Mexico has actually a few good skate parks. Um, some even have made it onto Thrasher, which is kind of crazy, because again, it's like, Central Mexico. Um, this park, again, if you're a street skater, dude, you're gonna love it. Um, you got boxes, you got drops, like everything's kind of spaced out and it's like interlinked with these like walking tracks, which does kind of get annoying with like pedestrians and sometimes you gotta get off your board and like go through the grass. But like even on the walking tracks that are like connecting these different little mini street plazas, They'll even have like rails or boxes, so like you can kind of hit it. So if you go on an empty day, really cool. But I really like this one line where you can hit a box or manual pad, do whatever, and then there's multiple stairs which had rails and ledges on the side. So like it was almost like throwing in like a street league line, and you could just go over and over again. Really great, ground is smooth. Um, so that one's pretty good. So people are pretty nice there too and chill. Um, then another Spanish name, but it's American that I like is the Santa Clarita skate park. It's huge. The grounds are really smooth. They got everything you want. They have like these flows on the side, amazing boxes that slide like butter. Um, if you're a bowl skater, they got that. Uh, the only problem is with the Santa Clarita skate park is it is so crowded because it's a California town. That's the only problem. That's why I would not put more California skate parks on this list. Sorry if you're from California and your park didn't make it on this list, but you guys got so many. Like, I love Venice Skate Park. So freaking crowded, though. I mean, when is it not crowded? Um, if you could have that whole park to yourself, yes, Venice Beach would probably make it on the list. Stoner Plaza, really great skate park, too. That's more of the famous ones. Ground's really slick though, like you even try to carve, er, your board's gonna slide out. Um, it's kind of crowded, usually not too bad, slick ground. It would have made it on this list, but I didn't wanna give too much crap and glory to California. So I'm gonna go with Santa Clarita just because like every time I drive through Santa Clarita, like I just have to stop. And it's just a fun place to skate and everyone there is pretty chill. And you know, you can like screw around in the corner and do stupid stuff and no one really like gets mad and wants to like go out of their way to like call you out so you can actually like learn new stuff where from what it kind of seems like the vibe at the Venice Beach Skate Park is that everyone's kind of there to show off because you got so many tourists around and like it's like a proving ground so like instead of learning new tricks everybody's just trying to show off and it's like really really competitive and I don't know it's not one of those type of like chill parks. Um, then on the list, I would say Allen, Texas was probably one of my favorite. There's a whole bunch like Texas. I don't know why it doesn't get more attention. Texas as a whole, as a whole state, I hate to say it, people are probably going to get all like divided, but like as a state, I think Texas probably wins for skate parks. I would say Texas even probably beats California in terms of, uh, skate parks. I mean, I don't know which one's, which has more skate parks total, but like the ones are in all the Dallas area, Houston, El Paso, San Antonio, which also has a lot of great ones. Like they're just all like perfect. Um, so again, I don't know why, but I don't have any footage of the Allen skate park. So I'm going to show this one. This is the one that I went to years ago with my brother and I just really liked the flow and it had something of everything and it was pretty wide open, spread out and you could just do whatever and it was a fun place. Um, yeah, so Allen, Texas, there's a whole bunch. Maybe I'll do like a top 10 Texas skate park video if you guys want me to. 
leave a comment and maybe I'll start ranking some of the best skate parks I've been to in Texas because there's a lot of good ones and I just didn't want to play favorites and this is a top 10. It could have easily turned into a top 25. But yeah, that one just kind of like a personal, like nostalgia one. So there's that. Then I lived in Phoenix for a bit and this is going to be number nine on the list. Pecos Skate Park in Arizona. It's in the Phoenix suburbs. It's near Chandler, Mesa, Tempe, that area. And I lived in Tempe. Yes, I went to the Tempe Skate Park. Is it good? Yes, Tempe Skate Park is good. That's why they have competitions. Is it overrated? For as much hype as it gets for a skate park versus every other skate park in the world or the country, yes, it's overrated. Tempe is good, but the whole Phoenix area has like tons of places like Desert West and just so many places. But I just found myself constantly going to Pecos because it was, first of all, not very crowded, huge in terms of uh, like square footage. So like everything's kind of spread out, really good flow. The world's like most perfect hip ever. Like I was actually able to learn stuff on it versus just trying to blast and fly over stuff. Uh, really good like launch outs, really good boxes. Sadly, it didn't really have any stairs. And so, I mean, no problem with me, but the box and manual pad like up front, like it's just a good location. The whole area is pretty relaxed and chill too. So again, Arizona has a ton of great skate parks. Like I'm not even gonna sit there and start talking about like Sedona Skate Park, Page Arizona Skate Park, everything around the whole Phoenix area. Like again, that could be again, another video, top Arizona skate park. So if you're from Arizona, let me know if you wanna see that top 10 or top five Arizona skate park. And I would have to say probably one of the most impressed skate parks I've been to. Again, this is number 10, number one, no particular order, but I gotta say Park City, Utah. Love Park City, Utah. I was injured the one time I went, it was in the fall. Beautiful fall colors everywhere. Snow is just starting to fall in the mountains. I mean, maybe I was just impressed by the scenery. The weather was perfect. It was probably like high 50s, low 60s and sunny, no humidity. Amazing. But it's kind of like a city type skate park. Like. I wouldn't say it's a skate park that's like the big Craig Ranch ones, but it is pretty big and it's got multiple sections. So like you have like this lower area that's like a small like old school street plaza. So you got like boxes, manual pads, drop offs like that. I get rid of the little stairs again. I only went one time. I have to check the footage. I did upload some. Um, and then you got like this main area in the middle that's kind of like your average street plaza that you would find in a normal skate park. And then the back corner, you got this bolt. And the flow at this park is great. Pretty much has everything you would want. Everyone's pretty nice and chill. There's diversity. When I went, there were actually rollerbladers. Wow. But yeah, Park City, I'd love to go again. Great skate park. Provo Street Plaza on the list is up there. It's pretty good. But I just didn't like how harsh the transition was and I had really cold knees. So, I mean, I can't really judge Provo because I didn't do much, but Provo is pretty good, Utah, and the new one, I've already forgot the town that's outside of St. George, and I just uploaded a video on it on my channel like a month or two ago, but Utah has some pretty good skate parks, even down in Kanab, so maybe I'll do a top five Utah skate parks I've been to, but yeah, so again, to summary, sum up this list, and then I did a few honorable mentions in there, you know, I mean, I guess I'll throw out a few more. Uh, Kona is good for the snake run. That's pretty nice. And then the ones around Jacksonville and Sunny Isles Skate Park in Miami, Florida is also really good. And um, again, I mentioned a lot of the good California ones. Uh, there's a good flow thing in Lincoln City, Oregon. That's pretty nice. Um, what else is there? Again, the Atlanta ones are pretty good. I liked Street League. Uh, St. Simon's Island, it's like a personal shout out. It's really small, really nice and scenic, beautiful area. Perfect manual pad, good boxes. Really small, but like 
it's just a great place to learn along with uh, Brunswick, Georgia. So shout out to the skaters I used to skate with there. And um, yeah, I'd say probably Huntsville, Alabama, their big skate park. That one's good. Um, where else? Franklin, Tennessee's also got a really nice skate park. Definitely. And the one that's in like the outskirts of El Paso, Texas. I forgot what it was, but that one's pretty cool. Santa Fe, New Mexico, the plaza downtown that's fairly new. That's also a really great skate park. But these are some of my favorite skate parks. Maybe I'll do some other lists since we're not legally able to skate here in Portland. But let me know what you guys think. If you have any suggestions, um, let me know. And again, to summarize my personal favorite parks, um, there were too many. Just go down the list. We had Grant Park in Chicago, Craig Ranch in Las Vegas, Brook Run in Atlanta, Colorado Springs in Colorado Springs, Colorado, obviously. Boise, the one downtown, Idaho. The Ecological Park in Puebla, Mexico. Santa Clarita, California Skate Park. Allen, Texas Skate Park, which is uh, Dallas suburbs area. Paco Skate Park, which is in the Phoenix, Arizona area, and Park City, Utah. So maybe I'll even be able to ride a Park City, Utah ski resort um, if I ever get that money for that. I mean, if I'm willing to spend the money there, that's how I should rephrase it. Anyways, subscribe and maybe I'll do some more top videos and let me know what you guys thought about the new camera. Hopefully autofocus didn't mess anything up in 4K and I'm actually doing dual system sound with the external microphone. Thank you.